have this much detail in a no gauge layout in this much in this much space. It changes the nature of what what, what, where you, what, what you want to emphasize. No gauge engines cost a lot more too. This is a picture of the Houston station. Houston's uh, Union Station. This is kind of similar to what it looked like when it was when it was alive. The uh, Union Station terminal is now the Crawford Street engine to the Minuteman. Mm -hmm.
Yes, I have. They got a hell of a layout, too. Texas City's got a nice layout, too. Yeah, they got a nice layout. 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 Yeah, they got
I've been there. Well, hello, all you wonderful people out there in YouTube land. This is Texas Special. I'm coming to you all from Papa Ben's Train Place in Bel Air, Texas, Houston area. Uh, great train store, great hobby shop. You know, they got it all. HO, N scale, N scale, of course, the best. And G scale. So, whatever you want, whatever you need, track, houses, cars, locomotives, train sets, come on down here. But, the point of this video is I'm here profiling the Houston in crowds, Bayou City and Gulf in scale model railroad. Now this is a magnificent model railroad. Uh, detail out to Wazoo and just magnificent uh, little vignettes all over the place. Uh, you got the train wreck scene back here behind me, the cattle pens, you got the, the, the refineries. This is a, this and the traffic lights in the little city diorama over there. That is, <laughs> An amazing layout, guys. Um, can you give me a little history of the club, sir? Sure. So the Houston In Crowd Model Railroad Society was formed in 1978, and uh, we started out with modules where we set them up at uh, various train shows, uh, at the malls and at the train shows and stuff. But we eventually got tired of that and wanted to build a layout. So when uh, one of our charter members, Papa Ben, or Ben Perlman, uh, opened up a hobby store, uh, Papa Ben's Train Place, it was at another location, and that started in 2002. We built a permanent layout there at his place, and uh, when he basically passed away, his brother Alan took over the store. He wanted to downsize the store a little bit, so he moved over here, and we were able to rebuild this layout here. We brought sections of the old layout from over at the other store, but um, we've been an in-scale layout, uh, in-scale uh, model railroad club since 1978. So this layout that you see now in the video uh, basically we started around 2005-2006 when this this location opened up and we brought over various pieces had to shorten them the room was a different size so the town of Bennett which was named for Ben Perlman out there had to be shortened by two feet uh, and then we redesigned this in here uh, and basically we tried to keep it a Texas theme layout uh, so obviously we have the town of Bayou City which we named Bayou City and Gulf uh, so we have the Union Station here. This model was actually built in 1978-79 for a module that we had on our modular railroad. And so it's been on all of our layouts since then. So we wanted to definitely put that in here. We have a large uh, freight yard over here, which we call Englewood. So if you're familiar with the, the, the railroad scene, that's one of the big railroad yards here. He's Very familiar with Englewood. So, absolutely, so yeah. And so, you know, we have the town of Austin. We have our, our, our bayou area over here, which has a picture of the Texas, uh, USS uh, Texas and the monument over there, and a refinery scene. So uh, it's, a, it's a club effort. Uh, a lot of uh, members have come in here. One member that actually moved off, Terry, uh, Terry Cruz, uh, actually, or Terry Hooks, actually uh, built a lot of the backdrops and the bench work. But the, uh, the track work and the scenery has been done by multiple uh, club members over the year. Um, so it is in scale. The room, if I remember correctly, is about uh, 16 by 19 feet, if I remember the actual measurements on it. And um, so this layout we built uh, basically for to show off trains that have them run in a circle, but we can also run this train in operations. We do have some hidden staging underneath that we can run trains up to on the railroad, and then once they finish running back down into staging. And so it's a, it's a, it's a, a group effort of our entire club. And that brought me to my next question. Do y'all do operating sessions or regular meetings here where y'all where y'all Well do right now with the virus we were having our monthly meetings here every year mm -hmm. or every month. And then we were hosting operating session uh, once every other uh, every other month. So uh, right now we're not having any meetings here or operating sessions because of the virus. So hopefully when that gets over with we'll be able to get back to that. Uh, but we are we still have two club members, myself and Eddie Acock that happens to be here. We're hosting the operating sessions on our home layouts until we can get this thing over with and, and get back down here and start operating again. But uh, new members are always welcome. Uh, one thing, I've been in the club since the beginning. I started out when I was 13 years old. And uh, one thing that I've always found is that I find out uh, more information, uh, how to do something. I don't know how to build trees or something. I'll find out from you, vice versa, find out, something like that. 
we have somebody that's actually worked for the railroad, you find out more prototype information, and you can make a better model or build a better model by knowing how the real railroad did something. So um, I think I think a club environment's always been great to learn uh, how the real railroad operates and how to build a better model. I will say that working for the railroad has kind of ruined it a little bit for me. <laughs> I see a tank car next to an engine or yes. a caboose. Yes, yeah. And I, my rubber band just wants to... Well, <laughs> it, is, it is a model, so, you know, we try to... I, I keep try my to, mouth shut. Some, some people I try to model as closely shut. as possible, but, as again, something like that, you tell them, it's like, hey, you understand the real railroads don't do that for a safety and liability reason, so you need to put a a, a blocker car. car in there, a box car, anything other than a tank car, and now, guess what, you've passed on your knowledge to a hobbyist, and that hobbyist can pass it on to somebody else. So, that's the neat thing about this hobby is you take your strengths and your weaknesses and you learn from other people's strengths and weaknesses. So. Now, I see y'all have, uh, I see the, the hand throttle all over the place. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and guess that y'all are running Digitrax. Yes, so this layout we do have it set up for Digitrax. Uh, Analog conversion is uh, turned off, so we can still uh, have one DC locomotive run on the layout. But the majority of our members have DCC locomotives. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. Come back and, and see us again. Layout. Normally, this is a wonderful layout. Normally, if the virus is not on, we usually would have members here every mm -hmm. Saturday running trains, and uh, would love to have you come down and see the layout. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for the support you give the channel. We've got the best subscribers on YouTube. You guys are out. <laughs> Texas Special, out.